Oh, son. Oh, you tangled with the Black Panther gauntlets. Inside the shield bubble, boy. That's the wrong place to be. Lads, it's time for the first update of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4. And while the few changes made in this update are somewhat low-key, it's what this update sets up for the rest of the season that really matters. Now first we have the Shuri Black Panther Claws. And in my opinion, these are a really, really good mythic item. I'm going to explain how they work further in the video, but just know there is only one NPC that you can buy these from. You do not fight Shuri to get these. Shuri is a hero after all. She's on the side of good. You you can also get these out of the Marvel chest, though a lot of these Marvel chests have become Doctor Doom chests, and I don't think you can actually get these powers out of those, so the drop rate of these out of chests is very, very low. I'm gonna let you know that going for these claws is gonna be highly contested, but definitely recommended. If you can get these off of somebody, they are gonna serve you very well, though they don't replace a jetpack they can do a lot of damage, especially in zero build. Now, much more significant is the addition of Dr. Doom's floating island, and with it comes Dr. Doom's magical beam. Though I gotta tell you, I don't think this is actually in the game quite yet. All the clips I've seen have been in custom lobbies where it's one player. Some people are saying that this island only has like a two to three percent chance of spawning every match which means that your chances of getting it while playing are very, very low. However, from the footage I see, it is a huge game changer. It buffs your health and shield to 500 each. So that puts it right up there with Thanos' Infinity Gauntlets all the way back from Chapter 1. But again, I did not actually see this in my matches. Comment down below if you think it's actually in the game. If you found it in the game, post up a clip. Let me know. But whether or not that turns out to be true, you can now unlock the Chapter 5 Doctor Doom skin by completing a set of challenges. And I'm going to give you a couple of tips in the rest of this video on how to complete those challenges as easy as possible. And these skins are very interesting because they show that Doctor Doom has completed his Pandora armor. And in storyline, this armor should give him enough magical shielding to withstand the influence of Mephisto, who he's trying to summon at his smokestack by his castle. And with one of these final Doctor Doom skin challenges, you're going to see a lot of Doom's castle because you have to hit four enemies with the arcane gauntlets and let me tell you the stream in which i recorded this was one of the busiest times in doom's castle maybe even busier than day one of this season i should also mention that gwenpool's mythic dual smgs are now in the game and you can buy them directly from her at the raft but it's a nice little addition and i'm a huge fan of this weapon and it only teases towards the return of iron man in probably the next update because once we hit october that's gonna be when we see the fort nightmares update comment down below how you're feeling about this season subscribe if you're not and use code sahard on the fortnite item shop to support this channel every little bit definitely helps i'm an independent creator so my support is mostly relying on you guys directly watching the videos putting my name in the fortnite item shop and sharing out the clips so they've unlocked the challenges for us to get the dr doom skin for this battle pass i'm only using the wolverine skin because the Shuri Mythic is in the game right now, too. So Shuri Gauntlet, Dr. Doom Mythic, and someone said that Magneto's Mythic was in as well, but I think they're trolling. I have a shotgun and a shield, so I just, like, feel no fear. Oh. Why would I fear anyway? You're not even real. Oh, Becky Lynch. You should really go renegotiate your contract. They should not... <laughs> I'm big on this, bro. They use these bots to advertise skins. I know this. But if I had a skin in Fortnite, I would straight up put into my contract that my skin could not be a bot. Bro, every time I see a ninja bot, I feel so bad for ninja. I really do. I gotta pay my respects to Von Doom's uh, mom right here. If you don't know the history, Victor Von Doom obviously grew up in Latveria, but Latveria was a horrible place run by a fascist dictator. So his mom uh, made a deal with Mephisto to get magical powers to hopefully take down the dictator. But right as she was about to, Mephisto, classic Faustian deal, stripped her of the power and she was killed by his army. And later his dad died. I forget how his dad, actually his dad died. The dictator brought him in to cure his wife or daughter of a terminal disease and he was unable to do that so dr doom lost both of his parents to the same dictator and uh, that's a large part of the reason why he's trying to summon mephisto now so he can hopefully get his mother's soul back but that's going to take a lot of power which is why he's collected all the trophies he has in his house 
in his castle. Well, Darth Invader. How does a bot end up with a crown? There's no way. Are they just giving these crowns out to anybody now? Drop War Machine, Arsenal, or Turret. Damage beyond 44. Hit rocks. So even though we're in zero build, we have to hit some rocks. Is it every time? Yeah, I think it is. Rocks or rock structures. So we'll take a second to harvest some materials here. We need materials. This is zero build. And that means that materials are even more important. Because you never know when you'll have to not build in this game mode. So we need to find the turret. Damage opponents, 44. Crack shield. We need to survive fire damage. Actually, there's some uh, fireflies up here. I think this is intentional where they put this, because this is the only spot on the map that has Firefly spawns. Is this Epic Games trying to artificially increase the use rate of the Firefly jar? Oh, we actually have NPC. I know you're just trying to get the challenge, bro. I know, I know. For now, I will let you live. At least since I light myself on fire four times. It was that he was in the Doom skin. He came up in the Doom skin and I was like, oh, this guy's LARPing. <laughs> I, can't, I can't be the guy that mains on his parade. All right, let's find ourselves some fireflies. There should be some fireflies here. There we go, look. Some of the only firefly spawns on the map. These are probably less used than bandages. Okay, we only have to do it four times. Oh wait, that doesn't count? Hold up. Let me take actual fire. Okay, it's literally just survive four damage of fire. I'm realizing too, I could have just stood on the campfire and it would have worked. Okay, we need to find something of war machines right now. Which means we need to go somewhere that has a bit more loot than where we are. We should also stay really attached to this car, too, because we're in zero build. Oh my god. At the very end of last season, they took away a lot of the horsepower from these things, dude. There's jetpack. I want double movement. Why are these bots taking position on me like the Doom bots? That's crazy. Wow. Wow. Solid. Solid lasering for no good reason. Alright. Hey, that actually gives us the Doom chest too, I believe. Or no, yeah, it gives us the basic Doom skin. But there is another Doom skin we can unlock past this. However, top 10, time to get a car, focus on the dub. Soon after. away with eight health he's a potato oh try again ah! you try it again i'm making my move so apparently shuri is an npc so we should go and grab shuri's gloves she only has one though that's what i've read so we need to grab it or kill the dude who gets it and he's gonna get it so we're gonna limp him it kind of sucks that they make these a zero sum game though i suppose in lore it makes sense you could reproduce war machine stuff much easier than black panther stuff and he's just gonna run why isn't he wow that's great bro that's great let's do or die we kill him or we get these black panther gauntlets
That's not a real dude. So I'm bot got in a fight with the NPCs, as bots always do, man. Should they not team up? Are they not in the same gang? I think this is the guy with Shuri, bro. I need to do. Do or die. Uh, don't tell me he's one of those who just drives around the map all game. Fortnite players have some, like, really gross habits nowadays. I see you. Oh. Oh. Nice, bro. <laughs> When it gets right down to it, the Monarch is absolutely necessary. He thought he got hit by a bot, though. He he actually got fooled or something there, and that was kind of crazy. Dude, she's even better than I thought. Oh, one Flowberry. She sells two Flowberries total, bro. I would stack up on those Flowberries if she had more. I've been really digging regular Flowberries lately, especially in solos. Things move so fast in this season, and you need to get gone. That time to pop the cork... That's enough time for them to reach you and take you out of the game. Oh, you actually do run faster. Very nice. Black Panther gauntlets. We got an animation. One, two, three, four. I would actually kind of compare that to Michelangelo's. It doesn't... Uh, if you guys remember Michelangelo's nunchucks from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle season. Though it doesn't distort your hitbox nearly as much. At least it does move you forward. And if I left trigger... Supercharged Claws. Okay. I can't deactivate it, though. Look how fast I'm running. Wow. And I got the slap on. Super, super dope in uh, zero build. But I did use a charge. Or no. It actually goes back up. Percentage-wise. It absorbs kinetic energy that it can be used to supercharge. So if you get hit, it will recharge faster. But that's risky business. Not a bad mythic, guys. Actually, let's just go like this because we have Black Panther. Let's get over here. Run our asses off so you don't get slapped until you do it with supercharge. Oh, son. Oh, you tangled with the Black Panther gauntlets inside the shield bubble, boy. That's the wrong place to be. Nasty, dude. Nasty. I don't know what NPC he's even fighting here. He's not fighting an NPC. <laughs> okay, that one's a bot. There we go. I swear, bots are harder to hit than real people sometimes. Where are you going, brother? Where are you going? Oh, this is so cool. We move so fast, dude. I think we need to change position here go this way. Hopefully he's still looking where we were. Ah, uh, what a piece of sh bro. We just need to scatter. No! 
I had him with the monarch, dude. I even aimed in. What a Ooh, wow. chump, bro. <laughs> Players like that. This guy this is the kind of guy that needs these jetpacks and these auto turrets and they to win, bro. These are the guys who don't get wins otherwise.